Hello everyone, welcome to 13 minutes learning. Today we are going to see how to create pie chart in OpenUFI without creating any custom controller. So in this section, we are going to use easy pie chart like a JavaScript library. So first uh, go to cdnjs.com. Here you can just type easy pie chart. So first uh, library, you can see that easy pie chart. Click that one. And uh, inside, you just uh, copy that link. Download the file. Okay, now let's go to create a um, new project in Web ID. I zoom a little bit. New project from template select that SAP UFA application project name EC pie chart a namespace dev and click next uh, view one ok finish Just wait a couple of seconds, it will complete. Okay, it's project created. So just expand that uh, web app folder. Inside, you need to create a new folder called um, Live LIB. So it's a library. So inside library, we're going to import our uh, downloaded file, JavaScript file. So import file and project, select that file, upload here. Okay. Just copy this file name. Go to index.html file. Here you just add that script. We store that uh, file in that uh, live folder, lib, then file name. Okay. That's all for this configuration. Then you need to go view inside the view just remove that shell it's uh, occupy a little bit space so if you remove then we get a little bit uh, space so inside the uh, content we're going to um, use that html tag so First, uh, we need to um, add a library for uh, this uh, component. XMLNS core PCP dot UE dot core. Okay. So in this core library, we can use the HTML. Okay. Just go to this um, openafi.hana-on-demand.com. In that API, just uh, type HTML. Inside that UI core, under that HTML. You can see that um, component. We're going to use content property. Then on event called after rendering.
so on chart one so event name I give that chart one so inside this uh, content we can add our HTML tag so HTML tag uh, we can to directly add um, any um, uh, we can to add directly add that um, HTML tag we need to add that uh, entity uh, HTML entity uh, way I will explain you how to use this um, entity check that HTML entity of not this one so HTML entities okay this way we can um, build our div So actually, um, I just created one div. Then we convert that um, entity. Okay, ID. So ID called um, short one. Then div inside uh, one short okay that's all so check that entity for less than simple so this tag we need to use instead of this less than and remove this one and greater than we use this greater than tag And double quotes okay, now this one inside the content we're going to change okay Now we just create that um, one div element inside the HTML. Just run our application. Select the index.html file. Okay. It's uh, loaded successfully, so we got a uh, no error. We can proceed to next steps. Okay, so even we need to create one function inside the controller file. So inside the controller. We're going to bind the EC uh, pie chart. So go to that um, CDN. Here you can uh, get that GitHub link. So click here. It will navigate to GitHub. So here uh, they give that document how to use uh, jQuery. So this function we needed I just take this one so here they tell um, dot short here we're going to use um, ID short uh, one so just 
change chart one and instead of uh, dot we need to use hashtag okay just um, refresh our application mm, it's library it's loaded okay no error bit but uh, we not see anything Okay, do double quotes chart one. One time I refresh because I just give us some space in the ID. Okay, you can see in that um, left side, uh, uh, left side top corner, it's a red mark is there, so that means it's uh, working. We can a um, little bit uh, bigger that uh, size. So if you see that document, they give that option. So in that option, size inside the easy chart size, we're going to use 300. And um, we can use that animate function. Animate five seconds, and um, update the value. So our ID short one easy chart update eighty percent. It's a five second animation and a chart size it's a three hundred. So now just uh, refresh our application. Okay, something wrong. Cannot read the property a bit undefined in the V control 15th. Okay, it's getting error. Chart, mm. chart one, and data, and we see pie chart. So everything is okay. The chart one. I remove the additional options. Fourteen plan again. We get the same error. Uh, check that document. So this is for update the value. Check the black things. We already did. Um, we already initiate. This one, uh, it's working. Okay, just remove this one and uh, check this property first. So it's that one is working. Mm. 
data scale color okay we just add this data scale color in the index file this html we have a file here after that id double quotes greater than simple before you need to add this data um, scale color just replace this double quotes to html entity and check again it's uh, changing that uh, scale color okay so here they given that um, data's percentage we add another one um, property data percentage double quotes okay just refresh again Okay, now it's working. So actually, um, I hard coded inside the HTML tag. So we need JavaScript to update that value. So we remove the percentage here and we check with JavaScript. I remove that value, hard coded value and again we check this tag okay uh, chart one uh, wait chart. okay spelling mistake actually chart one Short chart one then here you need to tell this id 40 percentage and um, here we can tell that 150 percentage size now refresh again ok now it's working with javascript okay uh, that's all guys um, here uh, we not uh, use any custom controller for uh, creating this uh, uh, pie chart so if you like please um, like this video if you want to um, tell anything about this um, video please write it down in the comment don't forget to subscribe my channel Please make sure to click bell icon and turn on the notification for my future videos. Thank you. Bye.